I'm so excited to bring on as my guest, Steve Trang. Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited. I am super excited to have you. And I'm, I'm, of course, most of our uh, audience here will be listening to us and not able to see us like we can today. But I remember just a few short months ago being in your amazing studio that I'm able to look at right now. And man, you have got quite the team. Like you got like five full-time media guys and gals, Six right? Now. Six, Six now. Six. And you're yeah. still, and you're still, and they're like following you around like, like you're a movie star. They're like video, videotaping you every, every day. It's great to and have you trying, Well, you know, we just model success and we saw what worked for Gary Vee and all these other guys. So, you know, we just, we just repeat copy and paste is, uh, is my business model. And, uh, I, I, I'm not great at creating things, but I'm really good at copy and paste. <laughs> I think uh, Dan Kennedy calls it swipe and deploy or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Yeah, so that's Steve, another person I've, I've borrowed very generously from. There you go. Well, let's go back to uh, go back in time to beginning to your beginnings and and tell us, Steve, um, how is it that uh, what got you into real estate to begin with? I think like many other people you probably had on the show, uh, just you read Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and you realize that you've been lied to your whole life that, you know, you go to school, get a good job, get, or get good grades, get a good job and, and, you know, work for 30, 40 years and retire happily ever after. And reading that book was really eye opening. So we started buying rental properties. And as we started buying rental properties, I made the mistake, right? Cause I'm an entrepreneur. I got shiny object syndrome. I became a realtor and um, yeah, that was, the, that was the wrong direction for like nine years in my career. But I got into real estate because uh, of the promises of financial freedom and, you know, the freedom number. Uh, once your passive income exceeds your expenses, then you don't have to work for anybody anymore. So that's what got me into real estate. It was just the, uh, I, I was, um, it's kind of like the matrix, right? I got red pilled. I, I learned about this other world and it was hard to have a boss after learning that you could have financial freedom and not have a boss. Yeah, I can't imagine being an employee. <laughs> like it's like it's like once 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 you have come to where you and I are, it's like uh, I cannot imagine that world from whence we came.